Hey YC family and friends, uh, today's devotional is going to be about um, a propensity for uh, prejudice, um, discrimination. Um, and then think about this in kind of a broad category. Um, we're all, I would propose, we are all prejudiced to some degree. We may, may not be conscious of our prejudice, but we all are. We, we have, prejudice is simply a preconceived perception of something or someone um, without experience, without facts. So we develop a perception. Uh, that's true of food, of places we want to go or don't want to go, the kind of people we want to be around or don't want to be around. We all have prejudices that, that move us in one direction or another. I think our, our story of the ten lepers is a great story about moving beyond prejudice. Um, the first part of the text, in verse 11, Luke makes the point of saying that Jesus was traveling on the border between Samaria and uh, Galilee. In other words, Jesus is moving into Gentile territory. And these two groups were uh, prejudiced toward, against one another. They had preconceived ideas about all individuals because of their idea of a whole race. A lot of animosity, a lot of dissension, um, very little cooperation. In fact, they would they treated one another like lepers. They wanted to stay away from one another. So in this text, there's two things that kind of rise to me. One is that the the, the one leper that returns to Jesus with gratitude uh, is a Samaritan. Luke, again, makes a point of that. Jesus makes a point of that because he's an outsider. He's not an insider. He's an outsider. And the, the stark contrast is the outsider is the one that came back and had a grateful heart. Um, so about this, there's two things that I think that break down prejudice for us when we can kind of adjust our perspective. The first one is the, the lepers united around their problem. The Jewish and Samaritan lepers came together based on the affinity they had because of their leprosy. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. That's beautiful. I think we should see that, recognize that, that the problem united us. The problem that we all have is we all have the leprosy of sin. We're all sinners. We all fall short of the glory of God. We all have human struggle. Whenever I begin to kind of recognize that, that I've got a problem, and you have a problem, all of a sudden we can unite around that. We're all broken. Um, the element, too, about the, the Samaritan that comes back to Jesus, he probably, at some point in his journey, had a prejudice against Jews. But, but because he's sick, help me. I, when, we, when, we're, when we know we're sick enough, we're willing to take help. We're not prejudiced. I don't care what kind of doctor can help me, just help me. I don't care what color you are, just help me. Um, so when we have an awareness of our um, mutual malady, <laughs> we can break down prejudice. The second thing is, is that how we treat someone. Jesus treated all of these lepers with compassion. Um, that breaks down prejudice. When someone has compassion for me, it breaks down prejudice. When you have compassion for someone, it breaks down prejudice. You and I can do a lot to dispel prejudice and discrimination simply by recognizing we all have something in common, our sin nature, our brokenness. We all need a Savior. Uh, we all have the capacity for compassion, which is the way we empathize. We give empathy but through compassion, connecting emotionally with others. Today, would you disagree with me that God would open our eyes to greater, a greater ability to recognize where we have prejudice. I see in this little story indiscriminate forgiveness, indiscriminate gratitude, indiscriminate um, service. God wants you and I to recognize that those are spiritual qualities. Lord Jesus, help us open our eyes to see what our prejudice keeps us from seeing, that we might be able to love like you loved, forgive like you forgave, be filled with gratitude that's appropriate, Lord, to serve like you served, without discrimination. In Jesus' name, amen. I will see you tomorrow.